Now, his letter asserts that the security guard is employed by Wing Castle. Even though when I went home and called Wing Castle, Wing Castle told me, he said, I don't have anything to do with security. And I'm busy right now. I don't want to talk to you. And he hung up. Okay, so that's what Wing Castle told me that evening. But yet, here this letter claims that the security guard is employed by Wing Castle. If this was true, then Wing Castle would certainly be able to give me the name of the company that this security guard works for so that I could verify his employment on this property as well as to follow up with a formal complaint. I also checked with Smoke One that evening who told me that it must be a prank because they don't have any security guards on the property. We also spoke with the Barber Butler who knows and appreciates the First Amendment and confirms what we already knew that there are no security guards on this property. Texaco also confirmed they don't know anything about security guards on the property. And I just wonder, why is it that their security forces are only present at such a time as when they're picking up their order from Wing Castle? I've lived here seven years, and with all due respect, you're out of your mind if you think that there have ever, at any time, been security guards on this property. In fact, where were they when my friend Sam Shares Shah and Ashraf Lakhani were brazenly murdered at this very intersection? I'll tell you where. They were busy harassing innocent citizens for taking photos in a public area. But hey, at least they got their priorities straight. This also raises the question to me, does one business have the ability to ban someone from someone else's business? Well, he addresses that by saying the property owner, Chong Li, confirmed that he supports his tenants in any quote-unquote security personnel, a.k.a armed th thugs with no legal authority, a.k.a. another citizen. Oh, my God. Anyway, the property owner, Chong Li, confirms that he supports his tenants and any security personnel, any security personnel that feel the need to trespass people from his property whether it be legal or illegal, just as long as they have a security costume and they feel the need to trespass someone from his property, he thinks it's just okay. So whether it be he doesn't like what you're wearing, he doesn't like the color of your hair, hey, maybe this uh, security guard with no education and training decides one day that he doesn't like Asians for whatever reason. Well, hey, it's okay with Chong Li. It's okay. He supports his tenants that feel the need to trespass people from his property for any reason, even if it's something legal, even if it's something protected by the U.S. Constitution, like taking photos in a public area, like the parking lot, in a publicly accessible area of this property that attracts people. You look up on Google Maps, the very first thing you see is pictures taken from the parking lot, which apparently go against their very own rules. In fact, if you look out there, what you'll see is a whole bunch of security cameras lined up on the front of that, that business. Which, ha, hey, 
Uh, apparently, that is a direct violation of their own rules, since photos are not allowed to be taken in the parking lot. Another thing is um, there's quite a good view from Google Earth of that parking lot, so um, they better get started on uh, making out a trespass order. And you guys are going to have a really hard time trying to confiscate all the camera phones and smartphones in public. Uh, why did you think that they put the camera cameras into the phones if we were not allowed to use them? And now, you know, given the fact that we have had some recent murders in the area with Sam Shares Shah and Ashraf Lakhani being brazenly murdered at that very inter intersection, it may be um, prudent it may be prudent to try to focus more on crimes and people who have malicious intent rather than harassing innocent citizens who are doing a legal activity that is protected by the U.S. Constitution. It has been brought to my attention by the security guard employed by you at your property at 397 East Southwest Parkway that your policy is not to allow photos to be taken from the publicly accessible areas of your property. They also informed me that you support anyone wearing tactical gear that feels the need to eject an innocent citizen from your property for any reason. You think it is okay for another citizen to kick someone off your property for any reason they see fit, whether it be because they don't like the color of their hair or skin or because someone is Asian or be because they are doing something that is legal, that is protected by the U.S. Constitution. It is greatly unjust. And I urge you to reconsider your decision because it could be bad for your business. I just wondered if you are aware, if you look up the address on Google Maps, the first thing you see is photos taken from the parking lot, which violates your own rules. Also, I have witnessed firsthand many security cameras throughout the property, which is a direct violation of your own rules. Pretty hypocritical, wouldn't you say? There's a very good view from Google Earth for all those who are interested. How successful have you been in removing those images? Furthermore, I wanted to inform you, because I'm not sure how long you have been in this country, that taking photos and recording in public is a fundamental American right held dear by we the people and protected by our U.S. Constitution. You certainly have every right to use your property as you see fit, and no one can impose upon your freedom. I believe you can even impose upon someone else's freedom if it is your choice to do so, but you would be legally required to give the public due notice that we are in violation of your rules by practicing our constitutionally protected rights. Due notice is legally required. For example, you have to post signs informing someone that they are on private property before you can arrest them for trespassing. I don't think it's a very wise policy anyway, because it would be really hard for you to control everyone's camera phone. Why do you think they put cameras in the phones if we weren't allowed to use them? 
Furthermore, had I been using my smaller camera and truly had malicious intent, there would be no way for you or your security guard to detect it. We can't just trespass everyone who exercises their constitutionally protected rights just because someone gets butt hurt. That is not what this country is all about. We're supposed to be welcoming of all members of the community and to respect the individual freedoms that our civil rights leaders work hard to achieve. This isn't North Korea. I don't think men with guns is an appropriate response to a camera in public. Also, I would encourage you to find a different company to use for your security guards because these guys clearly have too much ego and not enough training and will be a liability for you rather than an asset. They don't know what they're doing. They're busy chasing off your loyal customers who have done nothing wrong. Where were your security guards when my friends Suresh Sam Shah and Ashraf Lakhani were murdered across the street? Perhaps they were busy harassing your legitimate customers and trying to confiscate camera phones when they should have been doing their job. They have successfully prevented me from being a free individual on your property and supporting the businesses in my community. But where were they when my friends were murdered? Maybe they were busy bothering people for taking pictures in a public area. I am thoroughly disgusted with you and your decision. Thanks for violating my rights as an American citizen and not allowing me to support the businesses in my community. Thanks for your time and consideration. Sincerely,